If one wanted to observe the parahippocampal gyrus of the cerebral cortex or the uncus, uh, one would have to look at the medial portion of a cerebral hemisphere. Not only would you have to remove one of the two cerebral hemispheres, but then you'd have to remove everything uh, else as well, such as the diencephalon, uh, the midbrain, uh, the uh, cerebellum, uh, etc., to get a look at this gyrus, this fold, uh, which en uh, encloses the hippocampus. This is known as the parahippocampal uh, gyrus. It has roles in memory and the recognition of places. So, you know, being able to put together uh, observations of lots of different objects to know that this is, say, a bus terminal versus a train station versus a field versus an office. Um, next to the parahippocampal gyrus is the uncus, uh, which includes uh, the piriform complex and the olfactory tubercle, and thus it has roles in olfaction, um, but then also in emotions, as so it is part of the limbic system. Both of these two sections have the primitive form of paleocortex uh, with the three layers of uh, cells uh, in uh, the cortex as opposed to the more advanced neocortex with its six layers.